Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing FaveHealthyRecipes.com how to make this simple pork piccata with lemon broccoli pasta. Now this whole thing comes together so quickly you'll wonder why you ever go out for fast food. It's made with lean boneless pork loin chops but you could just as easily do it with chicken if you want. Now there was a time where I would have served this with some cooked pasta and the pan sauce ladled right on top and that would have been delicious but this version ups the ante a little by adding broccoli to that pasta so you're not only eating less refined carbs with the meal you're also getting more vitamins minerals and fiber all right to make this you're going to need two thinly sliced center cut pork chops two tablespoons of gluten-free flour salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper enough to season the pork chops to your own tastes, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of capers, two cloves of chopped garlic, and you might as well add it right to the dish with the capers since they'll be going into the pan together, one half cup each of white wine and chicken broth, the juice and zest of a lemon, four ounces of gluten-free short pasta, now I used a brown rice variety here, but if you're not on a gluten-free diet, you can just use regular pasta. Three cups of fresh broccoli florets. And optionally, you'll need a little crushed red pepper to sprinkle on right at the end. All right, now first, before you get started, place a pot of water on to boil for the macaroni. Now for the pork, place each cutlet between two sheets of plastic wrap. And using the flat side of a meat mallet, pound it out to about a quarter of an inch thick or until the surface is slightly larger than when you started. Season the pork with salt, pepper, and cayenne to taste, or you could use paprika if you don't like the idea of having any heat in the dish. Then dredge each of the pork cutlets in flour, and once they're well coated, set them aside. In a large nonstick skillet over a medium-high heat, melt the butter and oil together. Then add the pork and let it saute for three minutes on the first side, and two minutes on the second side. Then remove it from the pan, place it on a dish, and set it aside. Now just when you're about to start the sauce, you'll want to drop the pasta into the boiling water and cook it two minutes shy of the package instructions. You'll also want to add the broccoli to the same pot just about two minutes after you add the pasta, since it doesn't need quite as long to cook. Now to make the piccata sauce, in the same pan where you just removed the pork, over a medium heat, add the capers and garlic. Now saute the capers and garlic for about two minutes or until the garlic just begins to get a hint of color. Add the wine and chicken broth and simmer for another two minutes. Then grate in the lemon zest and squeeze the fresh lemon juice into the sauce. Then add the pork back to the simmering pan and warm it through for about one to two minutes. Now remove the pork and place it onto the plate where you'll be serving it and spoon over some of the garlicky pan juices. Drain the pasta and broccoli and toss it into the pan with the remaining pan sauce. Stir it together to coat the pasta, then sprinkle on the crushed red pepper if you're using it and then the dish is ready to serve. Or I should say the dish is ready to be devoured because that's exactly what I did to that lemony garlic infused succulent pork cutlet. And the pasta and broccoli was awesome too. Truthfully, that piccata sauce would make anything taste great. So give this quick recipe a try and let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for additional recipes and tips to fit in with your healthy lifestyle, visit my friends at FaveHealthyRecipes.com. See you again soon.